HTTP user server interaction or cookies. Cookies allow sites to keep track of their users. Websites use cookies to give their customers better experience based on their previous interest. Another reason of using cookies is to restrict user access. Through this figure, we will understand the cookies operation. This is the client computer and progress in time is shown through this line. This is Amazon.com server web site uh, and progress in time is shown through this line. On client computer, sometime this client visited Alibaba.com website and that website put its cookie 1111. This time this client wants to visit Amazon.com server website and it is sending usual HTTP request message. When this message reaches to server, first thing that server does, it creates ID 2222 for user or any other ID for this user and create an entry in its database. Now this server will create a response message and in this response message, it will specify the cookie that created for this specific client. It is setting the cookie and send this response message to the client. Now client computer has two cookies on its disk, hard disk, amazon.com cookie is 2222 and alibaba.com cookie is 1111. Now whenever client interact with the amazon.com server website, it will send a, it is sending a usual request message, but in that message, it will specify which cookie which belongs to the Amazon. Now Amazon is able to serve this client specific to its entry in the database where it is keeping this user's uh, all detail. For example, if it has created an account on amazon.com server website, it know exactly which server and its previous interest, etc. And it is sending usual HTTP response message. And for example, this client after one week visiting the amazon.com server side. It has a cookie, Amazon cookie and Alibaba cookie, both cookies available. It is going on the Amazon server. So it will, in its request message, it will specify the cookie 2222, which is the cookie that Amazon server stored on it. And now amazon.com web server is able to check its database and able to serve this client according to its previous interest. And it is sending usual response message to the client. Cookie technology has following four components. First is cookie header line in the HTTP response message. Let's go back and see again. This is the this is the request. This is the response message. So server first time set the cookie for the client. It create the cookie and send it to the client. So it is set, setting the cookie for the client. And then cookie header line in the HTTP request message. There, client is requesting something. Server has already specified the cookie for this client, so it is sending its cookie number. And then, cookie file kept on the user's end system and managed by the user browser. Yes, on the client computer, cookie file will be kept and managed by the browser. And then, the backend database at the website on the Amazon.com server or Alibaba.com server, they have their uh, database where they keep record of the cookies. This is the general format of an HTTP response message. Uh, in the header field name, server will specify when server is sending a response, it will specify uh, here a set cookie and it will place the value here. For example, amazon.com server is placing the cookie uh, value 2222. I'm going back to show you set cookie and 2222. And then when a a client is sending a request it will specify its cookie here for example cookie word cookie will be used and value that has uh, that has already provided by the uh, server is there 2222 so the field name will be cookie here and field name will be when server is sending it first setting it first time it will use the cookie name set cookie here let's see when server is setting the cookie through the uh, through its set cookie method first time 2222 and it's a response message when client is requesting something it will specify the same cookie that server has created for this client.